put my tools away, and then go get the bacon. We're smoking. Jankies all get out. But man, does it make good bacon. Yep, that's what we want right there. Nice and cold. Got some bacon going on. I actually started it yesterday. Yep, nice and cold and feeling dry too. That's exactly what we want. Good morning, beautiful people. All right. Kind of a busy weekend. Uh, I worked on skirting this mobile home a little bit more. Uh, and while I was over here, I fired up the smoker and started smoking some bacon. Jack's over there manning the smoker for me while I work on this stuff. This side is pretty much done. I've got a little bit right here at the corner. Uh, we're at the halfway, halfway point. Uh, I'll address this now right off the bat. Relax about the vents. I will be installing vents. Uh, there's just no point in doing it yet because uh, it just doesn't need vents just yet. Uh, that's one of those, I will get to it eventually. Uh, I saw a lot of comments, people worried about me not installing vents. And it's like, vents will come later. The entire other side is completely open, so we're not going to drown in mold just yet. All right, I think this is the side that I have been dreading the most because it's going to be tight quarters over here. Uh, is where our gas comes in. There's a rose bush. Uh, it's just, it's gonna be tight. So for today, uh, I'm gonna see if I can get all of the block laid all the way, the rest of the way, um, just, just to have it done. And then I'll probably have one or two of the boys start doing the framing while I do the sheeting or vice versa. But the, the point is we're gonna try to get as much of this done today because uh, we're actually supposed to have a big storm coming through and uh, they're saying it's gonna rain all day tomorrow So we won't be out here doing that if it's raining tomorrow uh, We could really use the rain uh, It has been so dry for the past couple months. It's just Any rain we get is a blessing. We are uh, we desperately need the rain I'm gonna get as much as I can get done today wherever we wind up. That's where we wind up. So uh, without too much more stalling I'm gonna go grab my tools and get to work. There's weed fabric all over here and just the leaves that have fallen and decomposed. Here's two oak trees. That's the entire root system. Look how long that tap root goes on that little oak tree. I'm gonna plant that in a pot since I have all the tap root. That'll probably survive. And this one, same deal. It's the entire system of that tr little oak tree. I bet you if I look, I can find the acorn still. And then all of these. So I went around and I pulled up 
little oak trees like that that sprouted from acorns last year. Let me go show you. So it's basically uh, the acorns fall out of these trees right here. And the ones that are right, right on the edge of this mobile home, for some reason, th the conditions must be perfect, but at the edge of the mobile home, I guess like the drip line or whatever, uh, acorns love it, they sprout, and they do great. So, I'm gonna grab my little pile of baby oak trees, and I'll show you what I did with them last year. Last year, I went along this whole edge, because they were all about that size, and as soon as they started changing color and going dormant, I pulled up probably a bundle of, I don't know, tons of them. Tons of them. And brought them over here, stuck them in a pot. This is about half of them. And all of these survived. All of them did pretty good this year. Mind you, they were crammed in a pot. I don't know what I'm going to do with this many oak trees. These are oak trees. Yes, they are. So I will do it again. I'll shove all these in a pot and kind of the way Kind of the way I feel about it if they want to survive they will How about that pot for the oak trees buggy? Can you take this over there to those little oak trees? Yeah. <laughs> this ladies and gentlemen is how side tracks happen. All right, let's have the buckets yeah. All right comfrey grow one of the pots that had comfrey in it was growing through the weed fabric so when i pulled it up all the roots the comfrey roots broke off so i just pulled them up and i'm gonna plant them okay we got some dirt all oh, these little oak trees this one included look at that this grew down into the weed fabric and then the tap root did a hard u-turn and was crawling off that direction oh weird grow May the odds be forever in your favor. I wish I hadn't missed this little guy. That is uh, way too close to the house. So I gotta dig that little guy up. Uh, last year, this thing was this big. I was like, I'll dig it up. And then I forgot about it. And this summer, it is now over six feet tall. So I have to dig that thing up and get it out of the way before I can't dig it up and I have to cut it out. I'm not real worried about saving this thing. As you guys have seen, I have no shortage of uh, oak trees. Yep, horribly mangled. That's what's gonna happen. This is some really hard dirt. Almost like we haven't had rain in three months. That was easy. See how much tap root I got. Okay. Yep, just chop the tap root. Look how big the crown of that tree was. Pretty cool. Sorry tree. You can't live here. All right, I got this end of the house footer done. Uh, what I'm gonna try to get done today is I want to lay everything on this side. I think I have enough blocks to do this side. Uh, I went and picked up more blocks this morning. Uh, I think that's about every day in a week. Actually, when I was at Lowe's today and the guy was bringing more block, and it's been the same guy a couple different times, he, uh, he goes, uh, so am I gonna see you tomorrow? 
No, this, this is probably the last of the block I'll need for this project. Probably the trickiest part, even though there's more room to work on this side because this is the downhill side. So there's like a solid four feet on, you know, that far end to work, you know, before the bottom of the mobile home. Uh, the problem with this side is because it's the downhill side, you can see there's a pretty bad drop off right where the drips run off the house and hit the ground. Uh, whereas on the other side, the uphill side, uh, they kind of hit, the water runs under, or uh, it pulls up and goes down the driveway. Uh, this side, because it's on a hill, it just hits the ground and takes the dirt with it. It actually works out uh, where these blocks are gonna go. They're actually going to kind of be on that drip line for now. Eventually, we're going to change the roof line of this thing. We're going to build a deck and we're going to have roof that covers the entire deck. So we won't have to worry about this anymore. But for right now, the drips will land right on the blocks, which I'm okay with for right now. It doesn't bother me. All right, I'm going to start laying block and see if I can get it all laid today. There's a lot of roots to deal with on this side because of these great big oak trees. string wiggling. So why is the string wiggling? It's because someone was trying to reef on that piece of rebar and pull it out of the ground. Hey, get off that. That's my straight line. Okay, so that's slow going. There's kind of a hump right there anyways. I'm bringing dirt down. That way I have something to set the block on. Uh, it'll work. It's just slow going. Up. Where? Out there. Go over there. Kind of by the string? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that little baby pine tree. I think we should dig it up and put it in a pot. There. Right here? No. Not that one? No. There's one over there, too. Show me. There's lots. Here's one. Here's one. Well, so right here, here's three of them. Is there any more? those three okay well maybe we can get a little shovel and dig them up and put them in a pot yeah. those are teeny tiny little pine trees If you can hear that but it is starting to sprinkle i was hoping i had a little bit more time before the rain came but uh, it doesn't look like rain's coming but the radar says that once it starts raining it's not going to stop until wednesday which i'm not complaining it just makes it hard to get work done i'm going to put the camera away see if it just blows over see if it was just like a little sprinkling but we'll see. All right, so while I was inside hiding from the rain, that blew over, uh, no rain yet, uh, it dawned on me I actually forgot to do something I was going to do this morning. Uh, I need to move our steer, Biscuit, to a new spot. We're very, very close to being out of grass for the season um, and having to feed him hay. I was actually going to move Biscuit this morning, got busy, went to Lowe's, came back, immediately started working on the skirting, and I forgot about it. So, I'm gonna go grab some backup. I think the boys are all down there at the barn. I'm gonna go grab them. We're gonna go move Biscuit up to a new spot. Uh, there's a little area on the other side of the driveway that I've kind of been saving the grass for, you know, November, December. We almost made it. He's, uh, he's going to freezer camp next month in about three weeks, I think. We almost kept him on grass all the way to the, the bitter end. So, 
get my backup, get my help, and uh, we're gonna move that guy to a new new spot of grass. He's like, hey, uh, what you guys doing? Usually how this goes by myself, I just put the halter on him, tie him to the golf cart, uh, but since we got so many people, we can just have everybody do everything all at once. Tight, so we know how far this one can go out. There you go, buddy. There's a lot of grass in here. We've been saving for months. A lot of it's dead already, but there's some good stuff in there. It's actually pretty tall. There's probably a few spots where the grass is a foot tall. We can get at least one more paddock up there if we need it. This will be good for a couple days. He is definitely not a in-milk dairy cow. When we had Daisy, man, she could eat a lot of grass quick. And now it's sprinkling again. Tell you what, I wish I could have done that to the other side. That is gonna be so nice to work. Bet you these blocks go quick. That is all I'm gonna do for tonight. I am running out of daylight, and uh, tonight is a podcast night. So if you uh, if you haven't checked out the uh, Homestead Shop Talk podcast, we have it everywhere. It's it's on every all the podcast players. It's on uh, YouTube. We film it while we talk about it. Uh, it's just me, Jason from So the Land, and Al from Lumna Acres. We just sit and talk shop. Like honestly, it's just it's kind of cathartic. We just sit. And, Sometimes we have a subject, sometimes we just sit and talk. Uh, it's been really cool. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of cool to you know, talk with the guys and you know, commiserate, talk about various things going on. All right, the rest of my cinder blocks are under my stack of sheeting. Uh, I gotta get the sheeting covered up because it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. Uh, I could move all the sheeting, but I've got a piece of plastic I can cover. The cinder blocks I need to finish this are underneath that. So. I'm just gonna leave that. I guess I'll get to it probably, oh gosh, a couple days. This week is Thanksgiving, and we have opted to uh, basically take the week off. We are gonna enjoy the holiday, enjoy the time off. So, if you guys don't see us until next week, that's why. Uh, I hope everybody has a good holiday. I hope everybody gets stuffed on turkey or whatever, whatever you're gonna do. I know we will. We're smoking a ham. Uh, it's going to be really, really good. I'm looking forward to it. Eat myself silly. At least once a year. I'm going to finish cleaning up all my stuff, uh, put my tools away, and then go get the bacon. Daylight is fading fast. Okay. Bacon is all smoked. Now I'm going to take it off. 
put it in the fridge till it cools down and it's cold enough to slice. And then we're gonna slice it up. Got fresh bacon. I still have a lot of bacon to do still. Uh, this is actually off of the single pig that we did before our class. We haven't even got to the bacon that uh, we did for our class we just did. So I got a bunch more bacon to smoke. Thank you uh, for manning the smoker today, Jack. Uh, you understand now why after I would smoke something for 12 hours I wouldn't want to eat it? That's why you smell smoke all day. And uh, after a while you, you don't want to eat smoked food anymore. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up out here. Today's projects have come to an end. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you guys all have a good long weekend if you are celebrating Thanksgiving. I know we will. Uh, so, we will catch you guys on the next one.